Hi there. Okay, so um, my second video featuring this signal from Radio Saudi. Um, again, the signal on the Wellbrook Loop, uh, ALA 1530 on the left, and on the Benito Mega Loop FX on the right. Um, and as I mentioned in my previous video, the um, what's obvious here is that the noise floor on the Benito Mega Loop FX is quite a bit lower um, than, than the Wellbrook. It's around about minus 120 dBm. Um, the Wellbrook is around about minus 112, maybe. About seven or eight dBs lower. Um, the signal strength is also lower on the Benito, but, at the end, but ultimately what's important is the signal to noise. Um, and having looked at this signal a few minutes ago, um, it looked to me like, if you look at the way that the signal to noise numbers are sort of jumping around, even so, the signal to noise on the on the Mega Loop FX look better than the Wellbrook Loop on this particular signal, anyway, on this particular band. Um, so what I did was I recorded um, signal strength and signal to noise data on both antennas and and imported them into Excel and produced a graphical representation of, of about five minutes worth, no, less than that actually. Uh, 6, 12, 8, 24, yeah, no, about five minutes. And, um, and so I'm going to go to that now. And this is a feature in um, SDR Uno that Guy, one of my uh, subscribers, r reminded me of. I was aware of it, I've, and I have done it actually, but only uh, just out of curiosity, not for any particular reason. Um, so if I now go to Excel, so bear in mind, again, it's Wellbrook versus Megaloop. Um, let's go to the... Correct spreadsheet. Right, okay. So what you've got here, and it might be difficult for you guys to see, um, but I've replaced the date stamp with basically just a five second interval because that's how often it, it, it samples the data. I haven't bothered graphing the power. This is the signal strength um, because at the end of the day, although signal strength might be interesting, what's important is signal to noise. So what I've done is I've created a graph very quickly with the mega loop uh, FX signal to noise readings from five to 315 seconds, um, and the same for the Wellbrook. And on the graph here, um, the mega loop data is blue, and the Wellbrook loop data is red. And you can see that although the graphs sort of do kind of track each other to a certain extent, um, that there are large portions of this graph where the signal to noise reading with the meg with the mega loop fx is higher than the Wellbrook loop but of course they do cross over it's clear actually if i take a line that hasn't got any data points in it so now it's clearer here so you've got mega loop fx in blue Wellbrook uh in uh, in red signal to noise um so i think that's pretty clear that on this particular signal from radio saudi the signal to noise on the mega loop is superior um, and then if you then average uh, the data which again guy suggested which makes sense over a period of a few minutes the average signal to noise with the mega loop fx was 24.3 with the wellbrook 22.3 um, it's worth pointing out that that the delta on signal to noise with this signal which is quite strong isn't going to do very much in terms of the, uh, the the audio quality of the signal yes this demonstrates that there's the, that there should be some more modulation which ult ultimately equates to um, audio but um but i think overall that this isn't a big enough difference in signal to noise to make any tangible difference in your listening pleasure to this particular radio station but again um, when you uh, when you're testing antennas uh, and you're lucky enough as I am to have an RSP duo um, it's it's very straightforward to compare antennas because you can set them up in STR Uno with the, exactly the same filter width settings etc um, and then to make a direct comparison using the same signal and so this is just one set of data and this data as I said is for Radio Saudi um, um, and I suppose it, intuitively it does it sort of feels about right this is quite a significant 
improvement in in the no, uh, in signal to noise because of the, the I think because of the lower noise floor here. But I'm going to do another test uh, on. Uh, on HF somewhere else and um, with a weaker signal and let's see uh, what we get but right now on a strong signal um, on 31 meters the mega loop FX is superior to the Wellbrook loop. Um, one thing I should stress as well is that I, the Wellbrook isn't adjustable but the mega loop FX I've adjusted it with to the maximum uh, gain um, and I've read more than once that that's not always a good idea because um, it can cause it can cause the RSP duo to overload actually, um, but you know I, I've never known that to be the case. And if the signal does overload or start clipping, you can just re re reduce the RF gain. So um, yeah, that I, I, for me that's never been a problem. All right, so let me try this on um, on another on a weaker signal, and um, and I'll do another video. Okay, thanks for watching.